Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'm here for you with part two of Light Worker Homework 3 to channel messages of light and love from the stars by Alice B. Claggett. This is second part of Homework 3 has the same title as the overall title for the homework to channel messages of light and love from the stars. It contains three homework assignments that I intend to pursue and I was hoping that some of you, my readers and listeners, might like to pursue them as well. Without further ado, I'll read you the first homework assignment. One, to contact sentient life on planets Mercury and Neptune. I am hoping to be able to speak with delegations from the Council of Nine, the planets in our own solar system, and their guiding spirits during this time. Having already met the Saturnians and the Martians during Solar Cycle 24, and the Jupiterians during early Solar Cycle 25, I am hoping to meet the representatives from Mercury and Neptune in our solar system during our current solar cycle. I have an action plan to listen to the NASA recordings for those planets. I feel these recordings may bring me in touch with sentient beings on those planets, including beings of light that may call those planets home. Here are representative recordings. Of course, you can find more on YouTube. These are just the ones that I chose. Video, in quotes, The Sound of Mercury, One Hour Meditation, end quote, by Space Vibrations. 24 April 2019. That's on YouTube. So that's the recording I'll be listening to for Mercury. And here's the recording for Neptune. Video, quote, Neptune sounds from space. NASA Voyager recording, end quote, by Live Gravity. One word, 11 March 2017, and that's on YouTube. Perhaps you would like to join me in attempting contact with the beings of these planets, especially the members of the Council of Nine who are representatives of these planets. You are welcome to join me in this armchair space exploration and this attempt to add interspecies communication. Here's the second homework assignment. Number two, to contact sentient life on the moons of Jupiter, Ganymede, Europa, Callisto, Amalthea, and Io. Today I did a preview of the sounds of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede, Europa, Callisto, Amalthea, and Io. Telepathically I get that the first two moons, Ganymede and Europa, may have space stations on them with sentient stranded beings perhaps Martians, perhaps other beings. These beings are in distress because they have lost contact with their loved ones elsewhere. The moon Ganymede. Telepathically speaking, it appears there may be a being on the moon Ganymede that appears to be saying, please help me over and over again. 
It could be true, or it might be some sort of cinematic hoax. See what you think. Here's the video I listened to. In quotes, what Ganymede sounds like, end quote, by PC Mag, that's P-C-M-A-G, 9 May 2017, on YouTube. The Moon Europa, telepathically speaking, apparently at the time of this Galileo spacecraft recording of the sound of the Moon Europa, there was some to-do about a being that lost its baby or thought that it had and then found that it had its baby. Whether this was an overlay from someone listening to the recording or something that really was happening on the moon at the time, I don't know. If you would like, you might listen and see what you get from the recording telepathically from a light worker perspective. Here is the video I listened to. Quotes, the sound of Europa, Jupiter's moon, end quote. By Neptune 9000, 10 May 2020, on YouTube. The moon Callisto sounds to me to be all right from the perspective of the spirit of the moon, but unoccupied as to sentient beings that might make Callisto their home. See what you think. Here's the video I listened to. Quote, Sound of Callisto, in parentheses, Jupiter Moon. End quote. By Galaxian, that's G-A-L-A-X-I-A-N, H-D, 24 August, 2015, on YouTube. The moon Eo, that's I-O, seems to have happy, sentient life on it. See what you think. I listened to the video, quote, NASA Sound of Space, Jupiter's Moon Eo, end quote, by Muffigwa, M-U-F-F-I-G-W, 27 February, 2010, and that's on YouTube. The moon Amalthea is unique among Jupiter's moons in the peaceful, harmonic sounds on the recording. These appear to be a quality of the spirit of the moon itself. See what you think? I listened to this video. Quote, The sounds of Amalthea, in parens, Jupiter's moon, in parens, end quote, by The Real G.D. Creeper, that's all one word, 2 January 2021, on YouTube. If you like this kind of armchair space exploration and interspecies communication attempts, then there are plenty of other moons in our solar system to explore provided NASA recordings can be found for them. Here is the list of the largest of these. The title is List of Moons in Quotes from the Encyclopedia Britannica and that's at https colon slash slash www.britannica that's B-R-I-T-A-N-N-I-C-A dot com. You can just go to Encyclopedia Britannica online and search for the title List of Moons. Here's the third homework assignment. Number three, to channel messages of light and love from our star brothers and sisters of the far constellations. 
as well at appropriate conjunctions of the stars, we may expect messages from our star brethren in the far constellations. Alpha Centauri, Andromeda, Arcturus, Lyra, Mintaka, the beings of light of the Pleiades, and the Syrians, perhaps. Perhaps even we may make contact with beings of light from constellations that we have not yet heard from as human beings. I am really looking forward to it, as I am sure many of you are. For a first contact with beings of the far constellations to take place, we must first take note of gateways and astronomical portals that offer us light workers such opportunities. One place to get this information is at Sandra Walters' uh, website online. That's where I often go, and I use her emails to, to get a heads up regarding gateways, stargates. She's very good with it, so you could give her a try if you want to. To continue with the text, then by meditating during those gateways and portals, especially, I feel, in an outdoor environment, we may offer the beings of light and love of the far constellations a chance to speak with us. If you do make first contact, it would be great if you would journal that and maybe blog it so that other light workers can learn from your star communications. I look forward to reading about what you have clear sensed at those special times of the coming years. Well, all right, dear ones, in conclusion, there are three homework assignments. One has to do with sentient life on planets Mercury and Neptune in our solar system, and to do that, I suggest listening to the NASA recordings on YouTube or elsewhere. The next one has to do with sentient life on Jupiter's five moons. Ganymede, Europa, Callisto, Amalthea, and Io. And that also has to do with listening to recordings of the sounds of the Jupiter's five moons that you may find on YouTube or elsewhere. And the third has to do with waiting for stargates and portals and gateways and astronomically certain times when we might find telepathic messages or better yet, uh, channel the presence of our star brothers and sisters from the far constellations. This is all work for the ramp up of, um, of solar cycle 25, which is happening right now and right before us. So. I wish you the very greatest luck, and maybe we'll have a chance to, to talk about it or view each other's findings online. God bless you all, keep you safe, and be with you through all your days.